Hello, this is Glows Up. Is you okay? Is you good? Cause I wanted to know. Okay, I'm trying to find my little light here. With my little ghetto ghetto setup here in the bathroom. Okay, so it's day two. And uh, what I want to talk about today is that um, I went to the fertility clinic which is very interesting because I haven't gone to a doctor in over 30 years. My last doctor was Dr. Cheney and she was a pediatrician and she was like, Lozell, you're growing hair. You cannot come here anymore. And I was like, but you have lollipops. You have lollipops. So I just never went to another doctor and I never got sick. I never had a reason to, you know, have a doctor. And then I, and I didn't have insurance. I still don't have insurance. So I'm like, but I've been married since August, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So it's been nine months I've been married and to um, SK. So I was like, well, I'm, o I'm over 40. So I don't know. I'm thinking I don't have a chance or maybe I have a chance or it's too late. So I went to the doctor just to see. I feel like I'm healthy, but I don't know if there's eggs left or it could be him. He's He's 10 years older than I am. So I don't know if it's like, pff, pff, your eggs are powdered, honey. Or, oh, you know, we have this medication that can help speed this up because you don't have this many, but you got that many. You know, whatever. I don't know. So I went. Now, they at the doctor's office, they make you check off, you know, oh, does this run in your family? Does this run in your family? Does this run in your family? So I just put my name and my address and what I was there for. Everybody's there for the same thing, basically. And so when the doctor come in, she's like, so none of these things run in your family? I'm like, no. So I guess she thought I couldn't read or I don't know. I really don't know. She's like, cancer, no. High blood pressure, no. Heart disease, no. Diabetes, no. She said, diabetes. I said, no. So she looking at me like black. You ain't got nobody that have diabetes in your family. I'm like, no. I know that's what she was looking at, but she was asking me what was running in my family. So she's like, are your parents alive? I said, my dad isn't, but my mom is. And she's like, what did he die from? I'm like, oh, diabetes, complications of heart disease. And she's like, so she's on the chart. And she's like, so your mother, does she take any medications? I'm like, yeah. She's like, what does she take medication for? I'm like, oh, well, diabetes. She's like, she goes, well, you said that diabetes and heart disease and whatever, does it run in your family? I go, it doesn't run in my family. You didn't ask me if it, if it, you asked me if it runs in my family. It does not run in my family. She's like, but you said this, this, and this about your dad and your mom. I'm like, yeah, that was a choice. They chose to eat poorly and bad things. I mean, everybody knows, like, if you eat a certain way, things are going to happen, you know? So it doesn't run in the family. Poor eating habits run in the family. So after 20, 30, 40, 50 years of eating bad, then you might have diabetes or cancer or this and that. No one in my family that I know of was born with cancer or heart disease or diabetes. These things developed over time. Some people are. Nobody in my family that I know of is. So it does not run in my family. Now, if you have poor eating habits, I would check the mess out of that. Okay? So she's looking at me and I'm looking at her. She looking at me, I'm looking at her, and I go, you need to give me a new chart because I'm not claiming diabetes or heart disease or any other disease in my life. What I look like coming here trying to start a life and I'm already going to just tell them all the list of diseases that you're going to have because it's running the family, which is not true. It's not true. That doesn't make any sense. What I look like going to church or having some kind of faith uh, spirituality for those who you know whatever it is that you believe and I'm just gonna be like no this runs in the family so guess what odds are you're gonna get it too when no one was born with it like it developed over time and it's usually around the 40 age give or take a few years where all your bad habits start to creep up and you're like oh now I need to start losing weight or oh the doctor said I don't have to take this medication so let me start eating right so I don't have to take it or blah 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 or that kind of thing. So I've stopped eating sugar. And when I say sugar, I mean things that turn into sugar. Oh, so no pasta, 
no bread, no rice, no potatoes, no sweet potatoes, no yellow potatoes, uh, no fruit. And we're like, fruit? But that's natural for the most part. We don't eat like a little bit of fruit. We eat the whole watermelon, okay? We don't eat like a little slice of milk. We don't eat the whole melon. We don't eat, we get big oranges. It's like the fruit is bigger and everything is mutated. So it's sweeter than it was ever before. And so sugar is sugar to the body. Now you can get some fruit. You can do something differently. That's fine. And um, in, within a month, I lost 16 pounds because I stopped sugar. And I was eating a lot of sugar. I was eating 12 cupcakes a day. 12 cupcakes. Like the two bite cupcakes. Whole Foods vanilla. Two bites. Every day. There's 12 of them. I did it in one bite. That's how talented I was. So coming from that, phew, and I, would, I was working out. I've been working out for the last eight months, but I stopped eating sugar the last month. And over the first seven months, I gained weight. Like, I guess you're gaining muscle or whatever, but I was still eating the same. And then this last month, I cut out all the sugar, and I lost 16 pounds in the four weeks. So, back to the fertility. So, she started my chart over, and we're, we're cool. I like her. So, I'm hoping that, you know, I'm thinking that that's going to work out. Now, this is a good sign. You know, like I, I just, it just didn't make any sense for me to claim things that run in our family when they don't run in the family. When I, if it'd be different when, when I was born, my mom and dad had diabetes. Then like, I'm like, I knew, I grew up with it. Then it was in the family, but it's, that's not how it was. It wasn't until they were way later in life. And the poor eating habits, you know, you take your pill and then you eat your ice cream. And then when my dad, it turns into, I'll take my pill, pass me my leg. And we're talking smart, intelligent people. My dad was a pharmacist. My mom has three degrees, okay? My mom's mom has a degree. My mom's mom, my grandmother, my mom's father, neither one of them had diabetes. So how is it running the family? I, I don't, I, so I don't agree with that. So that's that. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm trying to do 100 days. It doesn't seem to be going too well. And this is just the second day. However, I'm going to do it. And by the 100 days, maybe I'll find out something about the fertility or something else will happen. I'll let you know. Okay. Um, so this was kind of like, I, the whole thing was supposed to be, the 100 days I thought would be about fertility. My fertility thing. You know, what's happening there. But it's kind of turn it to other things. So we'll see what happens on the third day. All right. Over and out. I have more clothes. I don't know if it look like I do or not, but I got on some shorts. All right. That I don't usually wear outside, but I, I'm inside.